In this video, I want to show you how to download and install Batochera Linux operating system first on a USB stick and then how to install it on an old laptop so to repurpose it as a vintage gaming console. Before we begin, I appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel to help support the channel. First, you need to open a web browser and then go to batochera.org here you need to click on download and then choose which kind of laptop or PC you have that you're gonna run Patocera on. My old laptop here, I have it a 64-bit architecture. So I'll click on 64-bit. And you see Patocera is now downloading. It's a 1.1 gigabyte download, so it will take some time to download. In the meantime, I'm gonna download a utility called Etcher. This is from Balena. Let's search for Balena Etcher. So it's balena.io slash etcher. Let's click on it and simply select download. Here it will choose directly the correct download for your PC. Or if you have another operating system, you can choose it here. I am doing this on my Windows 10 laptop. So this is correct for me. I just click on it and it will download. This is a smaller download, as you see. So when Banana Etcher finished downloading, I'm gonna set it up. And when Batochera image finished downloading, we need to unzip it first. And then with the Etcher utility, we're gonna copy it to the USB drive. I'll pause this video now and I'll come back when the download finishes. When the download finishes, go to the folder where the download was done. And you'll find the two files here. So we need to install Etcher and extract Batocera image, which is zipped. So to extract the image, we need an unzip utility. Here I have already installed 7-zip from 7-zip.org. If you don't have it, just go to 7-zip.org and install it. It's a free utility. Or if you have WinZip, also it will work. Or WinRAR. All these unzipping and zipping utilities will work. So let's right click on it. Choose 7-zip or the other utility you have and choose extract here. It will extract the image in the same folder of the download. And as you see here, the image was extracted. It's around 3.5 gigabyte. The second step is to install Balena Etcher. Let's double click the setup file. Read the user agreement, agree to it, and it will be installed. Wait for it to install and it is installed here you find its shortcut on the desktop so we need to start etcher you need an 8 gigabyte usb key or more i already inserted a kingston data traveler 3.0 usb key in my laptop which is 8 gigabyte the first thing we do when we start etcher is to select the image so here we need to select the batochera image this one, the unzipped one, click on it and click on open. And then here, make sure that you selected the correct USB drive if you have more than one connected to your laptop because it will be completely white. Here I have the correct one. So I'm gonna click on continue and then click on flash. So now the flashing starts. It's telling me that it will take around five minutes to finish. So I'm gonna pause this video and come back when the flashing finishes. And as you see, the image is approximately copied to the USB drive and now it's finishing up. So after the image is copied to the USB drive, an automatic validation process begins. It's very fast. And now the flash was completed successfully, as you see. The next step is to start the laptop from the USB key. You are free to use Batocera from USB key always. But what I am going to do is to show you how to start it from the USB. And then from within the USB, how to install it onto the hard drive of your laptop. So I'm going to be switching to an external camera now to continue the operation. Make sure your laptop is turned off then insert the USB key and turn on the laptop. 
While booting, press the F12 key to go to the boot menu and select USB storage device. The boot menu key will be different for your laptop maybe. But Ocera Linux will start from the USB device. It takes a while the first time to create the partition and resize them. And here is the startup screen of Patocera. Once it is started, you should connect to the internet. So using your gaming pad, go to the settings and go down to network settings and go down to enable Wi-Fi, enable it, search for your network, select it and put the password for the network. When you press on back, the Wi-Fi will be enabled. At this stage, we are going to install Batocera on the hard disk of the laptop. This is an optional step because you can continue on using Batocera from the USB key as long as you want. But the purpose of this video is to convert the laptop into a vintage gaming console. So make sure that the hard disk that is in the laptop doesn't contain any information you need because it will be completely wiped. And follow the next steps to install Batocera Linux on your hard disk in the laptop. When you press OK, go to System Settings and scroll down to find an option called Install Batocera on a new disk. Select it and choose the disk that is in the laptop. Select the architecture here. I have 64-bit architecture. And on the question, are you sure I selected yes? And the download will start. Note about the download that the counter is not correct. So you'll see now that the counter will stop at 18%. And when I press the OK on the gaming pad, it will tell me that the installation is finished. I tried it three or four times and each time it gave me a different number. So if the counter stopped for more than 20 minutes, just press OK on the gaming pad. It will be finished. Here as you see it finished. I pressed OK and then OK again. And here I'm restarting Batocera. When I restart it, I will remove the USB key. As you see, I'm removing it here. And now the laptop will start from the internal hard disk and it will run Batocera. Here is the starting. The first time it will resize the partitions also, but it will be very fast because it's on the internal disk and I have an SSD disk here. And this is the startup screen. And now you can use your laptop as a vintage gaming console and enjoy all the games you want. Here I'm trying the Donkey Kong game. This is a vintage game that I like. It is starting. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, please subscribe to my channel to help it grow and give this video a like. I want to thank you all for watching.